Good evening and welcome to tonight's edition of Mrs. Soki Storytime. The other day I read you a book about what would happen if you took a mouse to school and today I'm going to read a story to tell you what would happen if you give a moose a muffin. And this is written by Laura Joffe Numeroff. If you give a moose a muffin He'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another and another and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store and get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask for some old socks. He'll make sock puppets. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paints. Then he'll ask you to help make the scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, boo! It'll scare him so much that he'll knock over the paints. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for soap to go wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. I hope you enjoyed tonight's story, and we will see you tonight for another story, or tomorrow for another story. <laughs> Good night.